Hey guys, how's it going? So, as you can see, the driveway's wet, and I don't know if you can hear the gutter or not, um, but it's actively raining a bit. But, um, figured today is a shop day for me. Um, actually, I got that string trimmer, that um, green one right there. Uh, I got that for $10 off Craigslist, and I got a box of parts for that right there. Um, that'll be in another video, though. Um, so today I was blowing, well, yesterday, um, I was cutting my yard in my neighbor's yard, just over there, and, um, got everything edged, string trim, and, um, mowed, and then I was literally walking out of the garage with my blower on my back running, with that blower right there, and it decides to downpour on me. Mother Nature decided to downpour, so, I re I didn't get to blow off everything until today and of, of course it was like all wet so it looks pretty crappy but I did the best I could and got pretty much everything off the sidewalk and driveway and everything. Fortunately I didn't leave any wheel tracks on the um, on the sidewalk or anything so other than that there's just some stuck some stuff stuck to the sidewalk right at, right next to the edge but it's not noticeable noticeable so um, but that's not what my video is about um, this blower here, um, blowers pretty much all come in factory installed with a spark arrestor screen. Now when that gets plugged up with carbon, um, it decide it starts to when you just like when you go to throttle it up, like to blow or something, um, it bogs down, or it bogs down when you try and run it at full throttle. Well, if you've never seen a spark arrestor screen before. This is what it looks like. I don't, I don't know if it's going to focus on that. It's just my phone. But as you can see, all that dirt in it is carbon. Now, to remove that, you burn it off with a propane torch. Now, I'm going to be doing that um, today. I'm, I'm probably not going to make a video of it, but I'll post a video on how to do it. And it's on us. Uh, I'll post a link in the video description below this. On how to do clean spark rester screen. It's on a steel FS38 string trimmer, I believe. Um, but that's carbon, and that when that builds up like that, it's cleaner. I scraped some of it out with a wire brush. But um, when it builds up like that, it bogs down the engine because it's not being able. It's hard for it to release all the exhaust gases. But um, I'll post a video on how to do that by Donnie Boy 73 um, on YouTube. Put a link in the description below this. Um, but basically, when the spark arrestor plugs up, it bogs down and doesn't run right. And I'm having the problem with this blower right now. Well, as you can see, the spark arrestor is out. That's the shroud up there. So, this is the part you normally see, but I took it off so I could work on it. And the blower's back together. The spark arrestor goes in the muffler right here where the exhaust comes out, but I think it sounds really, I think it sounds way better than a spark arrestor, so I figured I'd just give you a little startup of it, I've already been running it a bit, but personally I think it sounds better without a spark arrestor, so I might leave it out, but, um, let's see how we can do this thing. now it is kind of louder, so, um, it's already been running, so, let's see if I can start it here with one hand. So this has no spark arrestor right now. So yeah, as you can see, it's quite louder. Um, but personally, I think it sounds better without a spark arrestor. And um, in the video I'll post below this, um, Donnie Boy seventy three runs the um, string trimmer without a spark arrestor, so you can see how it sounds. Um, but, yeah, just thought I'd show you what I'm doing today. Um, yeah, I think I'm probably going to leave it out, because I think it sounds better. It sounds meaner, I think. Um, but, anyways, um, just thought I'd show you what I'm up to today. So, as always, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video.